Pamela Sue Martin always appeared as the picture-perfect actress, but only a few know that her personal life was far from that. Even though she tried to keep her love life as private as possible, it eventually got leaked, and her fans were shocked to find out just how unstable her relationships with men were. How did Pamela Sue Martin rise to fame? Pamela Sue Martin was born January 5, 1953 in Westport, Connecticut. Martin had a passion for performing ever since she was young. But before getting engaged with acting, she started modeling to give her a chance in getting recognized in show business. Her first ever role was, in fact, during her senior year of high school when she starred in the 1972 film To Find a Man. Her first role was also her first lead, and Though the film was not a hit, its controversial subject got a lot of attention for its newbie leading lady. From that point on, her success in the film industry only kept growing. However, her most significant role was when she appeared as Fallon Carrington Colby on Dynasty from 1981 until 1984. Pamela Sue Martin played Carrington's wayward and spoiled daughter of the Fallons almost 40 years ago. During this period, Martin reached the peak of her career and gained international recognition. The actress became known for her playing teen sleuth Nancy Drew. She first gained the recognition of viewers by her charming appearance and impressive acting skills. The 80s was the time when she conquered primetime TV with her beauty. But even today, at the age of 68 as of 2021, she is as glamorous as can be. This actress deserves a round of applause for maintaining her beauty even at this age but not a lot of people know about her love life. This is because she's kept it out of the spotlight for the majority of her life. This has made viewers highly curious about who she's dated and eager to learn more about what she does when the cameras are off. She was known as the Glamour Girl. Time goes by very quickly, but it's hard to forget the fresh-faced girl detective Nancy Drew in the 1977 detective series. Martin charmed the audience with her engaging acting and fresh-faced beauty, making her eventually get cast in the popular series Dynasty. This series is so successful, it's currently being remade and is available to watch on Netflix. The Poseidon Adventure During the early 70s, Pamela appeared in the hit movie The Poseidon Adventure. Here she acted alongside Academy Award winners, including five Oscar winners, Ernest Borgnine, Gene Hackman, Shelley Winters, Jack Albertson, and Red Buttons. In 1973, Martin was chosen to appear in two more movies called Buster and Billy and Our Time. In the movie Our Time, she got cast as the lead role and acted alongside famous actor Parker Stevenson. Martin and Stevenson were great co-workers and ended up working with each other in the TV series The Hardy Boys' Nancy Drew Mysteries. In the series, she also worked alongside Sean Cassidy, and the pair ended up becoming great friends together. However, when season one of the original Hardy Boys' Nancy Drew Mysteries got released, Martin quit, after her screen time had decreased a lot. Initially, the ABC program alternated each week between the Nancy Drew Mysteries and the Hardy Boys Mysteries. In season two, the shows were merged and renamed the Hardy Boys' Nancy Drew Mysteries which led to Nancy's role being reduced. This frustrated Martin, who left the series as a result. Her final appearance as Nancy aired January 1st, 1978. Martin appeared in a cover pictorial in the July 1978 issue of Playboy magazine, with the headline, TV's Nancy Drew Undraped. In the magazine, she cited the merger of the TV shows as her reason for quitting the series. In 1984, Martin, who's long been involved in environmental causes, appeared in a public service announcement to help save pink dolphins in the Amazon River. The ad was directed by Clyde Lucas, who appeared on the Hardy Boys' Nancy Drew Mysteries. One year later, she hosted Saturday Night Live, and in 2000, she became artistic director of the Interplanetary Theater Group in Idaho. But this didn't mean she retired from TV completely. Currently, CW is working on remaking the Hardy Boys' Nancy Drew Mystery series and Martin is appearing in the series as well. At this time, Martin wrote a letter to Kennedy McMahon, who at 24 got her big break on the remake, a year after graduating from Carnegie Mellon University. Martin wrote to McMahon as the young actress reminded her a lot about her younger self in the acting industry. McMahon got touched by the inspiring letter, revealing that she shed tears of joy when reading it. The new actress then claimed to a TV critic gathering on Sunday that Martin had written her mainly about the industry, standing up for oneself, and making your own decisions and how to 
kind of transition into a role like this and the repercussions of that in Hollywood. McMahon also added how thoughtful it was for Martin to do such a kind gesture. Despite the insignificance of quitting in the original of the show, she was still thrilled to be asked to appear in the remake. Even the director of the remake, Larry Ting, said that Martin came prepared and was a huge contributor to the show. On the other hand, McMahon, the daughter of young adult author Lisa McMahon, grew up reading the Nancy Drew series of books, but she didn't reread them in preparation for the role. This so was not because she was lazy, but because she wanted to be true and dedicate herself to the original Nancy that they were recreating. The role of Nancy Drew was one of Pamela's most iconic moments on TV, and this means that McMahon needed to do as good of a job as Martin did. In this CW remake, Martin plays Harriet Gossett, which is a psychic, eager to help Nancy in her investigations the personal life that Martin kept such a secret. Pamela's first marriage was to Jorge Brush. The couple got married February 14, 1979, but they were not compatible at all. Not even the least. They ended up getting divorced the following year on the same day they got married. In 1982, Martin got married for the second time to actor Manuel Rojas. He was mostly known for appearing in Buchanan Rides Alone, Death of a Cyclist, and the magnificent Matador. Unfortunately, this second marriage wasn't going to work out either. Surprisingly, the couple split up five years later. Martin made sure to keep her two first marriages as secret as possible, as she didn't want any gossip about her personal life and also wanted her image to be presented as perfectly as possible. Pamela Sue Martin only had one son. In 1990, Martin got married to her third husband, Bruce Allen. But even with him, she had no luck. This was the longest marriage out of all three of them, and he was also the father of her only child named Nicholas Allen. Regarding her health, the actress has revealed that she has struggled with interstitial cystitis, but has undergone treatment and is now as healthy as ever. Why do you think Pamela Sue Martin never found the love of her life? Was she too focused on her career, or did she just get easily bored from men? We'd love to hear your thoughts on this. If you liked the video, make sure you give us a thumbs up and be sure to check out other uploads on this series.